Hey there. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw a very cool ninja warrior. So let's go ahead and start with the head, which is basically an oval, but I'm not going to finish it off at the bottom because I'll show you just why I'm going to keep that open. So let's start here and start drawing that circle. Okay, so come around and we'll stop just about there. Okay, now the reason why I'm leaving it open is because the mask will come finish off down here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to flare out two lines and then I'll follow that circle line all the way around just like so. Okay, so it looks like a little bit of a fold. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and draw the eyes. So two circles, so one on the left side here and then one on the right side there. Okay, and I'm going to have them looking over to the left, I'm oh, sorry, to the right, just like that. And then I'm going to draw the headband in. So the headband is going to tuck underneath the eyes, just like this. Okay. And then the bottom of the mask will come down underneath the eyes, just like so. Okay. Now I'm going to draw in some eyebrows. So this side, I'm going to draw it lower in an angle. So it's basically like a thick line. I'm going to color that in. And then this side, I'm going to draw it angled up. So two lines across, and then finish off with ends, and then color that in. Okay. Now here, I'm going to draw the knot for the headband. So I'm going to start with a half circle, like a C shape. And then I'm going to come out and back in, kind of like a leaf. And I'll draw a line just down the middle. And the same for the bottom, so a line curving out and then back out the other way, and then finish it off with a center line. Okay, now we're going to go into the body. So here I'm going to have the side of his back kind of flaring out this way. Okay, and his arm is going to be coming across holding a sword. So let's draw in that shoulder like so. We'll draw the end of the sleeve here. And we'll come back up and we'll stop just about there. Okay? Now for the hand, so for the, I'll draw the wrist first. So two lines kind of tapering in towards the hand. I'll draw a curved line like so. Okay, now this is the top of his hand into his finger. I'll draw another curve in like this for his second finger. Then for his third finger, I'll just kind of loop it around like so. And then for the back, for the end of his palm, I'll just finish that off just like that. Okay, now I'm going to draw the front of his chest, so I'm going to come around behind that arm and then down like so. Okay, and I'll finish that line off with a curved line along the bottom. Now I'm going to draw in a bit of his top hand, so here I'm going to draw in his thumb, so it's kind of like a curl like that. Okay, and then for his knuckles, I'll draw circles or sort of like rings like that. Okay, so we'll only see two fingers. And then at the end of his sword, I'll draw two lines out, curve it, and cap it off at the end with a curve like that. Okay? Now for the top of the sword, I'm just going to tuck this behind that thumb, like that, with a line. I'll come up a little bit, and then I'll finish it off with a straight line like that. Okay? And then with his shoulder, I'm just going to finish that off in the back, just like that, with his sleeve, just like so, and I'll just leave it like that. Okay? Let's draw the sword. So a straight line, not in center, just off center. Because we're going to have two lines that come straight out like that. One shorter than the other. And then I'll finish that off with an angle of line like that. Okay. Let's draw his belt. So here I'm going to do an upside down triangle. I'll draw two lines out and cap it off for just one belt. Two lines out and cap it off at the end like that. Okay. And then on the side I'm going to come in a little bit and draw two little lines for his belt. And then connect that with a curved line. And then for the end of his vest, I'm gonna flare out two lines and then do a curved line to connect the two. Okay? Let's draw his one leg, his knee. So I'm gonna come out in an angle and straight down. This side, I'm gonna come in an angle out and then do a straight line at the bottom. Here's his ankle going to the back of his heel, 
I'll draw a straight line from the bottom of this foot. I'll curve that top line, and then I'll finish it off with the front of the shin. This side, I'm going to do one curve line and a second curve line, and curve that in just to finish it off. And then, like I did with the other side, I'm going to draw the back of this heel, bottom of this foot, top of this foot, and the front of the shin. Okay. And if you want to get a little bit uh, detailed, we can put some straps on his wrist. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a few little lines in for his wrist. Uh, and then for the toe, these are tabby shoes. I'm drawing a line for his toe separation. And, uh, and that's basically it. There's our cool ninja warrior. Thanks for watching.